Okay, so we're here today at the Javits Center and we're uh, showcasing Smita Jain's work. Um, she was one of the 230 artists selected out of 10,000 applicants uh, for one of the most prominent uh, art showcases in all of New York. So we're very happy to be here. Uh, she's a designer at the Peppercom division of a public relations company and is a young rising star and um, we're very happy to speak a little bit about her work. My name is Ted Barr, I'm the founder of the Current Art Group and um, when I started to be acquainted with, the, with Smirta's paintings I said that I want Smirta in this group as well, you know, to show with us and, and gladly enough she agreed, you know, and I'm very happy to have her here. The first painting that, uh, actually it wasn't a painting, it was a photography that I saw, it was this photography, this one, the green one, the green leaf. And I fell in love with this green leaf and I said to Smirta, you know, for this green leaf I want you here. And only later on I saw the other works, you know. Uh, I think this work, the, the, um, the white one, the, the latest work, this is an amazing work, you know, and I love it very much and I'm very happy that, uh, to have this work in our show. I think Smirta's work is amazing. I love the fact that there's so many different varieties in terms of styles and it really shows how talented she is and I especially love the piece that has, even though her color work is fantastic, I especially love the piece that's all the black and white and gray and um, I think it's just a really exciting piece to see but I think her work is terrific. This is a terrific piece because it lures you in from afar with the geometry and as you get closer you actually notice something quite dazzling about it which is that it's all actually hand painted and done including all the geometric lines and uh, what you see about when you get close to that is that there's no relief in terms of uh, a brighter or more distinct color palette you are uh, drawn into the black and white contrast of it and you see that even the black and white falls apart into the grays an even closer inspection shows us that the center does not hold and as the pieces are falling apart they gather at the bottom which lends the thing a sense of depth a sense of weight and then also a sense of dimension um, I just like the contrast I like the contrast of the, the dark and the light it's got a lot of movement um, and I think that that was what was this one called this was called it's falling down I mean it's that's exactly what would come to mind I'm really drawn to this piece because just the the rhythm of it. it just drew my eye on a very visceral level like I just I like looking at it even though there's no like direct objects just just the patterns were really interesting to me. I love um, anything that's kind of has a monochromatic look to it so I love the grays and the blacks and the whites um, all drawn in together and I love that each square has its, its, own, its own unique piece and the texture of it too really drew my eye to it so um, and this is something I would totally hang up in my apartment so I really am like uh, I love this piece a lot. So another wonderful work by the artist is her self-portrait uh, right here which is a mixture of formats with a photograph with hand-drawn graphics that are layered over top of that. It pulls you into a photograph taken from the native country and the graphics themselves also make the viewer ask the question as to what is centered around a graphic conceit and what is a hand artisanal contribution to the layered finished product. Here's one of her pieces which I really respond to quite a bit. Um, she's integrated uh, diverse media here. Uh, she obviously has a great talent for photography uh, as well as illustration and design. Um, so it's, it's been a great pleasure to finally get to meet her and see her work in person as opposed to merely online. The first time I looked at it, I, I, I looked at it and I saw the large picture, the face, looking down. And then the second time I looked at it, I guess I looked at it more carefully and I saw a second face here incorporated into the larger face and then along with this hand. And then I noticed as I s stared at it and just looked at it, I started to pick up on all the smaller little details, like all the little designs throughout the entire piece, and that's what I really love about it. I love her work. This is my favorite piece, The Angry Bird. This is beautiful. I love the color, I love the eye, I love the anger. It's got a lot of emotion in it. And that bird has uh, issues. He's looking for worms or 
on the boat. Maybe he's looking for a fight. You know, it's beautiful. It's great color. I'm here today uh, checking out Samrita's work, which I think is very good. Um, I love her photographs. I'm a photographer as well, so I mean, when I receive her work and I see work that captures like real emotions and real things that I haven't experienced, it opens a window for me, so I like it. And uh, I hope to uh, continue to see her grow as an artist and nothing happen to have her, some of these in my personal collection soon. All right.